Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Geb, God of Earth. In Smite, Geb pummels his opponents as a guardian. Behold the rumble from the deep, for it is the bellow of rock and stone. A titan of immortal ages has awoken from fitful slumber to crush all who tread upon his realm. A lumbering giant, patient, deliberate, unmovable. He is Geb, god of earth. When a mortal's heart is weighed in the halls of Ma'at, Geb sits among the gods in judgment. Those burdened with guilt and regret are claimed by Geb and dragged through the earthen crust to the underworld. Hearts free of such heaviness are taught words of power and ascend to the sky. Ah, the sky. It is but the one thing Geb longs for. In his eye, she is glorious sapphire, an unreachable object. But it was not always so. Once the earth and sky were as one, Geb and Nut, goddess of the sky, locked in a lover's embrace. Ra deemed their union unfit and sent Shu, god of wind, between them. In his rage, Geb thundered and broke the earth, but for naught, Nut was now forever out of reach. Though his desire has not weathered with the ages, Geb has rested peacefully for time memorial nurturing mankind through bountiful harvest and stable ground for pyramids and palaces. It is the clash of gods upon his surface that stirs him. He has risen to war, though his motives are unclear. Does he fight to prevent the destruction of his realm, or will he seize the chance to shatter the wind and reunite the earth and sky? Whatever the outcome, the earth will always remain. Geb's passive is called Hard as Rock. Crits only do a percentage of damage to Geb rather than the normal plus 100%. His first ability is called Rollout. Geb turns into a massive rolling earth, damaging and slowing enemies he encounters, stopping at the first god he hits. He increases speed as he travels and his damage scales. Once at his top speed, Geb becomes CC immune and will also knock back enemy gods. His second ability is called Shockwave. Geb creates a shockwave causing damage and knock-up to all enemies. Enemies closer to Geb take full damage, enemies at the furthest edge take less. Geb's third ability is called Stone Shield. Geb targets himself or an ally to put a shield around. The shield blocks all damage and knockback effects and lasts until its time expires or takes enough damage to be destroyed. The shield also cleanses any CC when applied. Geb's ultimate is called Cataclysm. Geb pulls apart the earth, dealing magical damage to all enemy gods based on a percent of their current health and stunning them. In this first fight, Geb and Apollo come in from the jungle. Initiating with rollout, Geb's knockback fails as Fenrir takes off with Apollo. Cleansing his ally with shield, Geb takes the kill with a deadly shockwave. In this second fight, Geb places stone shield on himself as he dives the phoenix, knocking up Amuzan Kab and Sun Wukong with shockwave. Geb gets an assist from Muzan as he takes down Wukong. In this final fight, Geb and his allies push the middle phoenix. Stunning all nearby enemies with cataclysm, Geb continues with a shockwave at Amuzan Kab. An ill-executed blink sees the god of bees pummeled. As the god of Earth, Geb controls the terrain around him to shield his allies and wreck his enemies. Starting him off with Shockwave is an excellent idea for its wave, clear, and knock-up potential. Next, picking up Stone Shield can aid Geb's laning partner and counter any crowd control threats. From there, the priorities shift to Cataclysm, Stone Shield, Shockwave, Rollout. Hell and Amuzen Kab make their golden debut. 
Also introduced in this patch is the addition of a brand new arena map. Matches will randomly rotate between the traditional arena map and the newly updated nighttime arena. The traditional map's gameplay rules will remain the same, while in the newly updated map, the Manticore will spawn after every 10 player kills on a side. If your side can escort the Manticore through the other team's portal, you gain extra points. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Geb, God of Earth.